The polls are closed and most of the votes are in. So what did Californians decide? Will Governor Newsom keep his job? Thanks for joining us for the nightly check-in. I'm Catherine Garcia. Votes are already coming in, mostly from people who voted in person or dropped off their ballots or mailed in their ballots any time before Monday. Remember, as long as your ballot was postmarked by Tuesday the 14th and received at the Registrar of Voters by next Tuesday, uh, your vote still counts, so they will continue to tabulate those mail-in ballots and provisional ballots. The registrar has until October 14th to certify the election results. And you can always head to NBC7.com or watch NBC on TV for the latest results. San Diego's lead labor negotiators met with the city council behind closed doors Tuesday. The meeting comes amid major pushback from city firefighters and police officers to a vaccine mandate. San Diego's police union says if the city doesn't give employees an opt out option, the city could lose as many as 500 officers. According to a recent union survey, both fire and police union presidents are fully vaccinated, but both say they take serious issue with the way the city of San Diego rolled out the mandate. They say it was, in their words, rushed, sloppy and threatening. Our competition has more lax rules or less punitive rules. Um, it's very easy for somebody who feels passionately about this to up and leave and go somewhere else. Jack Schaefer says both Riverside and San Diego County Sheriff's Department, both of which do not currently require vaccines, could easily poach about 100 officers from the city of San Diego. The frustration doesn't stop with officers. Firefighters also want options. Meanwhile, in Imperial Beach, Wednesday night, the city council will be considering a COVID-19 vaccine for all city employees. They'll talk about several options, including mandating vaccines for all employees or just mandating vaccines for unrepresented employees, requiring weekly negative COVID testing for unvaccinated employees or extending the proof of vaccination process. Meantime, the city collected vaccination status of their employees per Cal OSHA rules. Another pressing topic concerning the coronavirus is vaccine booster shots, specifically whether everybody needs them. Monday, two of the FDA's top experts said the general public does not need booster shots right now because most people still have adequate protection from the original vaccines. But the Biden administration is already planning for boosters later this fall. And last week, an FDA advisory group will meet to discuss Pfizer's application for those booster shots. Dr. Anthony Fauci was asked about the plan to provide those booster shots for everyone, and here's what he said. You have clearly waning of immunity against infection and clear-cut indication of waning of immunity against severe disease. So what we're trying to do right now is have a plan that by the time we get to the middle of September, the September, the week of September the 20th, we will have a plan to vaccinate people who are having that waning immunity. Meanwhile, with the new school year underway, child COVID cases are on the rise. The American Academy of Pediatrics says children accounted for nearly a third of all COVID cases last week. And some parents are frustrated that vaccine approval for 5 to 11 year olds still hasn't happened. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky was asked about that and said she hopes it would come by the end of the year. Our daily coronavirus, case, coronavirus cases are continuing to trend in the right direction, but hospitalizations and deaths are still high. For the second day in a row, there were fewer than 600 new cases reported across the county, which is an improvement over just a few weeks ago when we were seeing more than 1,000 cases each day. However, five additional deaths were reported today and 24 more San Diegans were hospitalized with the virus. A monster jam is coming back to San Diego after a two year hiatus because of the pandemic. The show is set to return to Petco Park on January 15th and 16th. The last time the show was here was back in January 2020. They will be welcoming back fans at 100% full capacity. COVID safety guidelines will be in place. Tickets go on sale September 21st. And we invite you to join NBC7 and Telemundo 20 and find your perfect pet at our Clear the Shelters adoption event. It's this Saturday, September 18th at the San Diego Humane Society San Diego campus from 9 to 3. For more information, just head to NBC7.com community. And before we sign off, here are your current temperatures. There is an extended forecast in the weather section on the main menu of our Roku and Apple TV app. That'll do it for the nightly check-in. Have a good night.